Hello YouTube, my name is Detective Clean and welcome back to another episode on how to make a data pack in M Creator. Now, in the previous episode we made four we made five different items. We had created a a iron uh upgrading an iron tool to a diamond tool. We had also created two um custom recipes and we updated the loot table for a villager. Now in this episode I will specifically be going over each individual item and how and what each means. Now, you don't have to watch this, but you can. Now, before we begin, I would just like to ask if you would like and subscribe and comment. Oh, you know, something about, like, I'm creator has absolutely no coding or something like that. I don't know. You guys know what to do. Uh, and let's try to be nice in the comments. I'm kind of new to YouTube. Um, anyway. So, what we'll be going over is a loot table. And we'll be updating and going over what each of them mean in depth so that you're not having to go through... On oh, my last video, which was give or take about an hour, um, you don't have to go through all that. It's super easy. Now, in Am um, Creator, you're going to press the little green plus, and you're going to go to Loot Table. In Loot Table, you're going to name it something. In this case, we're going to call it a hmm. Let's update the chicken. Now, in the loot tables, there are many different, uh, many different things going on at the given moment. For some, we have a loot table registry name, and we have loot table namespace, and we have a loot table type. type. So, in the loot table registry name, that is the type of loot table that it's for, right? So, this is either for a block, or for an entity, or for dungeon chests, or anything of the sort, right? In this case, because we are um, editing the drops for the entity, the Minecraft entity chicken, uh, we're going to go to entities and, chick and chicken. Now, because we're naming a chicken, and it's already selected as chicken, we're not changing nothing about it. Now, in the namespace, it's uh, basically, it's do you want to modify what the Minecraft drops are, or do you want to add to those drops, right? Now, what I always recommend to everybody is to always modify the Minecraft drops, because then you're not going to get any compatibility issues, and you're going to ensure that your loot table is a priority, alright? So, we're going to select table. No, Minecraft, I mean. Now, in the loot table type, this is basically what is going to drop, right? So, um, uh, if we have it selected as a block, when the, the, um, when the villager, do when the chicken dies, is it going, what is it going to drop, right? That's practically what it means. I mean, that's a simplistic version of it. Uh, re what I always recommend is if you're doing, um, most things, do an entity. Um, the only type, time when you would ever do a, um, a block or a chest is if you're doing it for, like, a command block and you want to create your own chest, right? That's what I would recommend is as a block, right? And, uh, and uh, even then you would select as a chest. Right, so, um, so, right, so, if you select it as a block, right, it's, um, if the entity, if whatever this is, right, and if it's a dungeon chest, then you're gonna select a chest, and if you're fishing, then that's what it's going to be, it's basically modifying something, modifying the action, or the item, or their whatever thereof, 
right? In this case, we're selecting entity because this is an entity, right? If we were to select, um, if we were to select a gameplay slash fishing, right? Or if we were to select a uh, block slash stone, right? In gameplay slash fishing, you would select a chest or you would select fishing. In a block slash stone, you would select, um, uh, you would select, um, uh, a block or an entity, right? Uh, so if you're breaking a glowstone block, then that's what you'd be doing. Now we're going to create two loot t um, um, two different types of loot tables just so we can get a better understanding of it, right? So in the chicken, we're going to have the, the first one, first loot table is always made, right? Automatically. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to have, instead of dropping um, raw chicken, we're going to have a dropped cooked chicken. And we're going to select the amount from, uh, let's select it as 2 to 3, right? So basically what this means is that it's guaranteed minimum of 2, but you can get an extra one, right? That's the, the, the oh, oh, you actually uh, entered that wrong. Yeah, that was my mistake. The entryway, think of it like a die, right? Um, uh, the number of items on a table, on a loot table, is how many faces there are on a die. If there's one entry on a loot, ta um, a, a loot table, then that item is guaranteed to drop, right? The only time you would, um, you don't really have to enter a weight the only time when you would have to enter a weight is if you want something to be more common than anything else that drops right so in this case we'll add another loot table and then we'll have it could drop a totem no let's have it drop um or uh, leather if i can spell it correctly that would be great right and then we're also going to have it uh, drop a totem. Right? And so I want this to happen 20. Right? So we're going to more likely gather it. Now in this case I'm going to have it as 2 or 3. Right? So it would take basically three kills on average in order to even get um a totem of undying uh max count right this is uh how many times it it, it will drop right uh again that's uh that's another die right dice but it's basically like a random generator right so it's any number between minimum and maximum and if you have the minimum number as two and the maximum as three then it's a 50 50 chance of either two or three so every other one pretty much is going to be the higher number um the uh Bonus rolls, you have to select uh, this little check mark, right? And that's basically, do you want it to roll the table a second time, right? There's really no time when you would ever have a bonus roll, right? But, again, whatever data pack you're making, it might be included, right? A uh, minimum roll and a maximum roll, again, that's the basic same as the, as the bonus rolls. It's how many times you're going to roll the dice. So if we have it set to like five, then it will roll the dice five times, right? Um, and that will tell us. So if you roll it once, then that means one chicken rolls this this um thing, this loot table, right? From the minimum rolls to the entry enchantments, or the leather and the 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 totem of undying, uh, it rolls it once. But if you add it two, then killing one chicken will ha run this loot table twice, right? Yeah, yeah. But I understand. Now, again, the entry weight is how often that item will drop compared to the other item. The greater the number. The less common the other item will drop. Super simple. 
Um, and with an item of enchant, right? Uh, with an item of uh, enchant, uh, basically, is the item going to be enchanted? Right? Uh, so, uh, setting it uh, from zero to zero means there's not going to be a single enchant of it. Um, and adding an enchant uh, level to it, Roy, will uh, have it drop something, Roy. Um, but we don't want to add it for this chicken. And so we're going to save the mod element. And then we're going to add a loot table. And we're going to make it for cobblestone. Create. Roy. So, block slash cobblestone, right? Uh, typically, it will, like, add whatever the subcategory is, and then whatever the name that you're adding is, right? But I'm making it simple, right? If we wanted it to be, like, um, oak planks, oak wood planks, right? Then we would, then what you would do is you would set it as, uh, oak planks right and you'd have this little um this little uh under uh underscore character right and that's basically a space right but we're doing cobblestone so ah why well, did that not delete but that's okay uh and then we're going to set it for minecraft because it will up it will override and it will n not allow whatever cobblestone normally drops to drop right uh loot table type uh block right and we're going to set it as let's set it as a diamond just for pizzazz reasons right and a maximum count of 2 and affected by fortune and perfect now after that you're going to go to workspace you're going to go to export the mod for distribution and you're going to wait for this because it takes some time and when it's finished, it's going to pop up with this window. And you're go uh, now, if you haven't donated already, I do recommend donating as it is a free software. Um, however, in this case, we're not going to donate in this YouTube video. So we're just going to ex export the mod without donating. And we're going to go to wherever um, you la wherever you save your data packs. In this case, I go to app data. Then I go to roaming. Then I go to dot minecraft. Then I have a folder here that's called data pack. Now in this case, I'm going to override my tutorial for YouTube. Actually, I'm going to update this name. YouTube. Right. And in here. We're going to go to dot minecraft and we're going to go to data pack and then we're going to delete that old one and we have this here now then you're going to open up minecraft now if you have uh downloaded uh jei and forge um those links will be down in the description uh, this is basically if you're adding custom recipes, you can make sure that these recipes are showing up and you can make sure that the recipes are working. Uh, this just makes it easier. Uh, we're going to press play. Now, as soon as you have opened up Minecraft, we're going to go to, oh, actually, before we do that, first we have to go to our, um, if you already have a world, um, we have to copy, um, our, uh, our tutorial, and we're going to go to saves, and we're going to go to back to data pack testing, and then data packs, and then we're going to delete this, and then update it with this one. Now we're going to close that, go into single player, and go to data pack testing. And once your load, ha your world has loaded, 
We're just going to wait for Minecraft to stop being stupid. Okay, there we go. No. Sorry about that. A bit of a lag. And we're going to delete this. And we're going to get ourselves some cobblestone. And we're going to get ourselves some oh, chicken. Get ourselves a few chickens. Uh, let's get ourselves a few bits of cobblestone. And go back to... Using our diamond... We can see that that just dropped two diamonds. And that dropped another two diamonds. I have not a clue why this is lagging. Give me one second. Alrighty. Don't know what was going on there. So we're going to kill this chicken. And we can see it's actually. Drop the leather, and the cooked, and the totem of undoing, and we're going to drop this, and we're going to do that. So, from that one chicken we killed, we got leather, and the cooked chicken, and the totem of undoing. And in this case, we didn't get any totem of undoing. Let's try it again. Nope. Nope. Let's try it again. Nope. Oh, we got it that time. Let's show you it again. And as you can see, it's we're not getting totems of our dying every single time. We're getting it more old leather than we are getting um totems. And we killed seven chickens, right? So, you know, out of that, it out of a th three sided die, right? Out of any four sided die with three of them being leather and one of them being totem of undying, then it makes sense. Because Totem was only on one of them, and we calculated that it'd be about one every six to one every seven. Well, one every one every three to one every four, my mistake. So. My name is Detective Clean. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And smash that like button. Alright, bye bye.